Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday Night Live. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you the awesome junk that we buy at the thrift store. So if you haven't done so, make sure you hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up and let's get started on our thrift haul. All right, so we've got some a few things down in the front, so I'm probably gonna come around. That way we can bring you close and we'll show you all the fun little details up close. So we found, so Jamie's in an upholstery mood. I, I don't know that I'm in an upholstery mood. Let's, let's clarify that situation. <laughs> so we did find this trunk. We love old travel trunks when we can find them. And this one still has some tags and things um, on it. And the inside is actually in really good shape. That's one of the things we look for when we're picking them up is what does the inside look like? It also has its handles, its leather handles, which usually they're missing. You know, you wouldn't think that that would be a big deal, but 90% of the time they're ripped out right here and gone. So, yeah. so we paid $20 for it. And the inside's in good condition, doesn't have any smells. Mostly it's just dirty. It needs, it's got some dust. Yeah, mostly it's just dirty, but I absolutely love it. And I think that um, we we'll probably sell it for around $99 is usually where we sell our trunks for. Sometimes I paint them. This one's kind of a smaller one, so maybe like $79 on this one. But it is cool, it has that tag that has the, the address of the previous owner. And I think once it's cleaned up, it'll look great. The tag is is very uh, precariously hanging on there, and that's like probably the coolest part of it. Yeah. We didn't. Sometimes we leave the stuff, and then we come back and pick it up when we have the truck. But I was worried that somebody was going to pull the tag off because they had just put it out on the floor. People kept walking by it, even though it said. And it's everybody like, was looking and at the like tag. Everybody's like touching the tag and like, don't touch the tag. <laughs> so these chairs, these stools, were fifteen dollars each. It's been a while. We just sold a set of bar stools, so we need another set in here. The the seat needs some repairs. They do unscrew. They've got frames around the edge, so we're going to unscrew them. We'll probably do like some batting or something, upholster them. Jamie was thinking fun floral. Yeah, I'm thinking springtime, so we'll get some floral into the shop. And they were $15 each. We'll probably sell them for between $225 to $295 for the set of three. The maker on them is Ballard Furniture, which is a good brand of furniture, brand new. They probably cost upwards of a couple hundred dollars each or more. So I think once we give them a new paint job, put some new fabric on there, they're going to look good. Yeah. And they'll, like the style. we'll spray these most likely once the seats are off, I'll just take them down to the spray booth and give them a coat of paint. Um, and then we also found this little uh, console table or like entry table, table is the find of the day because it was only ten dollars yeah ten bucks for this and it's got real nice clean lines and it'll paint up real easy it's just pine right now with probably a uh, lacquer on it because it's got that amber color it's kind of orangey yellowish and we'll, we'll fix that yeah probably some milk paint that table will sell for between 100 and 100 and 125 i can't even talk and entry tables always sell really fast for us there's something that um, you can't always find and the size of that table it could also work like as a desk it's a good size for desk as well it will so, fit a chair up underneath it so. yeah so i feel like either way sometimes i stage them with a little chair underneath and they sell really well um i thought about doing grain sacks on those chairs but i'm really like wanting to do something floral i think it's because i'm tired of the snow We've had like nasty white slushy stuff. We've had like two snowstorms this year. I know, but I don't like snow ever. All right, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so I can bring the camera closer. Deb is much more tolerant of the snow than I am. I don't like to be cold. I don't like to slip outside. I don't like shoveling. So even when we lived in Arizona, I Prescott is a mile high up in the edge of the White Mountains in Arizona, and it got cold. Yeah, <laughs> I worked out in it and it snowed and I know that says I can't complain and... because I haven't changed tires in the snow. True story. And it wasn't a lot different than Utah <laughs> is as far as winter goes. All right, bring you guys up nice and close here. Sorry, no, lots of camera moving. Alicia moving. says, come on spring, no complaining. She's in Canada. I'm never going to visit you. I'm not going to visit you if there's snow. That's full show. I do not do cold weather. It's 
Yeah. Utah's not super bad where we live because I feel like today We're down was up in the valley. Like, yeah, it was like 40 today. It, the snow is starting to melt and it made me very happy. Like <laughs> the sun came out this morning and I'm like today is going to be awesome. All right, we're going to show you all of our smalls now that you've seen our furniture. Um, I'm actually excited about this one. It was $2, but it's got some amazing patina on it. I saw a bunch of pots like this when we went to market in Vegas, and they were spendy. Oh, super chat. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Sally Von Zool. Um, I would say that it cost me two bucks, and I'll probably sell for like $12.95 for that one. We probably won't paint it or do anything to it. It's got the no. good crustiness. Oh, no, you don't paint that. The crusty on that's perfect. I don't know if it's actual patina or machine patina, but it's good either way. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Okay, so this one I'm going to show you because I'm holding it. This is from Diane, Diane Johnson. Johnson. She brought us some stuff. Came and got a bunch of stuff today from the shop. She's had a little pile accumulating every time we finish something she's been calling and being like, hey, I need to buy that. She bought our little French cupboard and then she had a cutting board and I think a dough bowl and then she wound up buying a whole pile of stuff. She sent me a picture and told me she might be grounded from my shop. So this is probably the factory enamel paint on there, but it's been through the dishwasher so many times that it's now chipping and crackly and old looking. So probably and, don't eat out of it. And it's it's right there at that perfect stage where we like them. Yep. Um, so I don't know how much Diane paid for it, but in our shop, that'll sell for about 10 or $12. We have a pile of strainers. They're not fast sellers, but every now and then somebody comes in and they like enamel strainers, and we have some. They're great for making lamps. Yeah, they look really cool with lamps. A little lamp kit from Ikea or the hardware store, and you're, you're good to go. So we got some milk glass coming up. Um, this is just a little Fire King bowl. I think I paid, how much did I pay for It was a dollar. A dollar. It'll sell for like four bucks. Not a, like a huge dollar amount, but you know what? People come in and they'll buy the more expensive things, and then they'll scoop up like three or four um, items under four or five bucks and only paying a dollar and selling it for four or five bucks is a pretty good market. This is also a dollar. This is trying to be milk glass, but you can tell the difference in the coloration. I don't know if the camera yeah. will pick it up. This is, this is not quite as milky. Well, the bowl is more translucent and these are more solid, but they are, I would consider them milk glass and coming into spring, this style will sell very well. How much was that one? So this one was a dollar and this big one was a dollar fifty. All right. Yeah. And so they're probably going to sell anywhere from like $8 to $10, maybe 12 for this big one. But this time of year, I can never keep enough um, pretty milk glass bases and people want them for spring or Valentine's Day. A lot of husbands come into the shop and get like a gift card and pick up a couple of vases for flowers and stuff. Those are good husbands. I know. Hint, hint. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find like the mother load of fake flowers and get those for you. Because, <laughs> you know, I just can't see spending a bunch of money on, on real ones when they die in a week. I don't like it when you buy flowers around Valentine's Day because they always mark them up. It makes me mad. So this is just a wooden frame. We really like the detail. That's what I'm trying to get in close enough up here so you can see it. It's got, oh, you're getting light and all the reflection and all that. It's just a solid wood frame. I think it was $3. We'll paint it, sell it for $12.95. I just need more frames in the shop. And I actually usually take the glass out and everything. Occasionally we have printables for our channel members and we'll print out a printable and put them mm -hmm. in there and they sell. In fact, we have that horse one that sold. So maybe we need to we'll, get another horse in here. Yeah, maybe we'll use the horse printable from Speaking last month. Speaking of channel members, we haven't done any February videos yet this month. They're coming. Um, Tuesday is the day. We're going to do the first video on Tuesday and I'm hoping to have the printable done by then too so we can show you some fun stuff with it. Well, and to, we go live every week we have for our business coaching, but then for the regular channel membership, your first live will be this Tuesday and we'll put it in community. So make sure you guys are channel members that you're watching community. So this is going to be the next topper um, the wood topper that we turned, if you haven't seen that video, it's up. We, uh, we turned some wood toppers and aged them for all these vases and things that we've been finding without lids. So that Two turned bucks. out cool. They're all sold. They, all, every single one of them's gone. Yeah. They, they're all being shipped out. Um, I've actually got a bunch of shipping to do on Monday. So Let that me show paid. you what I'm talking about. This this so one this, ended up a little large. Can you tell me how much we That was $2. It was $2 and we'll sell for 
Or actually, if it has a topper, it'll probably be more like 18. So I got a little ambitious with this topper. <laughs> the topper. We're gonna probably cut her down. It's a little top heavy. We're gonna cut her down and cut the knob right off the top of this one. But this was just. We showed you this last week. I think Sue got this. Is this a Sue find? Oh, Carts and Millie. Super oh, thank chat. You, Carts and oh Millie. my gosh, if you guys haven't checked it out, she used a almond milk bottle and made a lamp. It rocked. I used IOD molds and went to town. So, uh, Kimberly McCoy says, My hubby and I just celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary on Monday. And we went thrifting for two days. That sounds like a lot of fun to me. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing we do on our anniversary. Yeah, so happy anniversary to I you, I think Kimberly. I've thrifted more anniversaries in the last five, six years than I haven't. Well, people are like, what do you guys do in your spare time? The same stuff we do in, <laughs> yeah. in our not spare time. Thrift stuff, go junking. Like, we do it for a job, but we also like it. So this, this little jar, it's going to get a haircut. That one's going to get trimmed down, but... It was just a little bit, Zeb was a little bit ambitious with that knob on the top. But this one, we'll, we'll make something like that for this one because, you know, we found a little niche there and uh, they're selling good. We, we experimented and it worked out, so we're going to make a bunch more. So I thought this was interesting. This is a salt and pepper shaker. I won't paint them. I actually like the finish on them, but the salt is huge. The salt is the big one. <laughs> and then the P is the little one. Now, I don't know if there were two sizes and they mixed and matched or that's how they came, but I think that they're fun. Um, I don't know how much were they each, probably like a buck. Maybe. They were a dollar fifty, fifty and a dollar fifty. Yeah. yeah. So There's both, actually a P for the, the yeah. P. Yeah. So apparently pepper. people want more salt than pepper, which is actually true. Like our kids very seldom pepper stuff, but they salt stuff like nobody's business. This has got a little lean to it. It's authentic. <laughs> it's authentic. So we'll sell those for like twelve ninety five for the set. Cost us three dollars for them, and we'll just clean them up. So this may have been trying to be an S. I, that's what I think it is. I think it's an S and that's a P. They may be like shop projects and we don't even know. Anna's going thrifting on Valentine's Day. Nice. Teresa, Teresa wants, wants to know how the farmhouse is coming. We were just talking about that today. Oh, we were, we were discussing a lot of things. So we haven't showed any videos on it for a while because it's been snowing and concrete and well, so structural Zeb upgrades have can been work happening. In the, you can work in the snow, but he's been sick. So the combination of being sick and working in the snow is not going to happen. Well, and also, like, just just getting regular <coughs> and stuff. Like, I, I, you know, people think that we don't work, but... I don't think anybody <laughs> thinks that we don't work. Everybody's like, oh, you guys are just making videos all day. Must be, must be glamorous, right? Oh, it is so glamorous. Oh, man, <laughs> let me tell you. I love the YouTube videos and love making them. And they, they've been taking a lot of time lately, but that's fine because... It's something he loves I really them enjoy. To them. <laughs> well, right. well, they've been time from the farmhouse because we haven't been doing farmhouse videos, so I haven't yeah. had time to get. We just gotta get past the boring stuff. But this next week, Zeb's gonna go out and do some work. But today, he thought about it. He wasn't feeling good, so yeah, he ended we, up. I ended we, up having a Lego challenge with the boys. Yeah, he played Legos and we watched TV in bed. That's what we did today. All right, so these were fifty cents a piece, including the creamer. And they are marked, hold on, if I can read one. They all have the same There's, there's Ken Mark, <clears throat> did you break it? Oh. Ken Mark Ken Stone, Ken, Ken Stone from Japan. Yeah, so just some Japanese iron stone. I just thought they were cool. They've got the light brown around the edge. Um, these will, this will sell for like $4.95 or $3.95-ish for this little picture. And then these sell for about $2.95. And I just put it together and people will come scoop them up. They love little sets, little mugs and things, and little creamers always do really well. I just thought this was so cute. Yeah. Everybody right. says I sound good. I do feel a lot better. I have a cold. Mostly I'm just still tired. It's just ridiculous. All right. Next. This is heavy. It was $5. I think it's resin. The burgundy and the gold, they're just too much for me. So I, it's going to get painted prairie gray and white waxed because that's more my style. And the red and the gold will peek through that a little bit. Yeah, well, I don't think the red will, but the gold will, and that'll be cool. Um, let's see, do we want to show them what's over there in that little corner? Yep. This came from Diane. I don't know what it's cost, but it'll get a paint job and maybe a transfer or um, some stamping situation. All of the above. I'm, I'm, it's stamping season. It I said that's it. a garbage can. This, maybe. We're going to use it to help. It might be. That's what she said. 
All right, well, let's we'll just, scrub it. Now that we know it. it's a garbage can, we're gonna. I might not be paying that tonight. <laughs> That's gonna go in the dishwasher. Okay, this is also from Diane, and we're gonna do a fun project on this. We're gonna be doing some chalk with stencils, and it should be. We're should gonna be try good. it out. See yeah. how it works. All right, let's keep moving through this. Okay. Put that up over there. A couple little birds from Diane's box. Some cardinals for you. Little birds always sell really well. They sell for about three bucks a piece. Man. <laughs> Everybody's saying it's a bath trash can. <laughs> Gross. I was seriously going to paint that tonight, but I, <laughs> I'm not interested a, anymore. I'm going to give it a solid scrub. I'm not sure they used a liner and it's questionable. It doesn't have anything in it. It's clean. The dish... We have a dishwasher because this used to be a house where our shop is. So it's not like the dishwasher that we put stuff in that we actually eat out of. So this is a, what, is that a coffee maker? It's enamelware. So. Came from Diane. It'll probably sell for like 12 bucks. I love anything enamel. So I think it's coffee. I don't know because we don't drink coffee. It's for boiling water. <laughs> it's for boiling water. For tea. All right, what else we got here? I so don't know why I bought these, but I thought they were cool. She, they're, uh, they're for It's shine. a percolator. It is for coffee. See? I'm good. And these have just like a cool design on them. Yeah, they were a dollar each. They're floor shine. They're supposed to be for fancy schmancy shoes. Zeb has some fancy schmancy shoes that his son borrowed and left in his locker. Borrowed without asking. That's called taking. He's to, Harrington's excuse for borrowing Zeb's shoes was technically everything that I own is yours. So it's, <laughs> it's the same. Hopefully he brings those back after the dance tonight, so you have some church shoes tomorrow. I know he's, he has three pairs of shoes. So the reason he, he wears his suit um, on like the days they have matches for uh, for wrestling, and then, and then he, he leaves, leaves it, it all crumpled in his locker, and he couldn't find his shoes the other day because they were in his locker. So he just took mine, and I have other shoes. But guess what? He's got those too. So this is moving on. Well, we're done complaining about our teenager. <laughs> oh, super chat. Thanks, Maddox. We're, Thank you. I said Maddox. Maddox, I can say your name. We are actually planning on going out on a hot date for a treat after this. So all our super chat money goes to milkshakes and french fries. Because I forgot to eat dinner. Jamie, Jamie got in. She's like, I'm kind of hungry. I did oh, eat dinner. Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten today. <laughs> All right, so this enamel bowl was a dollar. It's stamped on the bottom. Can you tell? I cannot tell what it is. I'll hold it close, but I don't think anyone else no, is going to be able to tell either. I don't know. But I thought it was really cute. We'll sell it for probably like eight or nine bucks. So this is metal. They said that they, th they thought that the bowl was German, maybe. And Catherine says, don't you love your, ch your children? We do. <laughs> we do. Uh, funny story, right before we got here, we got a call from our teenager who's out to dinner before the dance that he's going to tonight. And he's like, They're, these teenagers were here before us, and they were drunk, and they got arrested, and there were breathalyzers. And he's telling this story, and he's taking his time getting to the point, I'm thinking, did you get lumped in with them and somehow you're in jail and needed to, to bail you out? And then finally he's like, no, I just thought it was funny and wanted to tell you that. I'm here for the Italian food. I was like, <laughs> thanks for being awesome and not getting arrested for drinking. Teenagers sometimes are dumb. Okay, right, so we're going, on. these were $5 each and we, this one's broken. And that's okay, because I'm going to break it up anyway here in just a oh, second. Oh, I didn't know that it was broken. Well, I twi it was already been glued, and I gave it a oh. good little twist, and it just popped yeah. right off. I but we don't like either. them. We're going to make them into... Uh, I'm not really sure, like, I've never seen Careful, I'm going to go get some gloves. But anyways, we're going to just turn them into candlesticks, because they're awesome. Five bucks each, they'll probably sell for like 22 and 20 for that size. They're pretty cool. All right, we're going to move this way. Let me move this. Oh, that was loud. loud. Sorry. All right. What do you think Zap's going to use this for? Can so we don't, we don't ever thrift these ever for uh, paper, towel. paper towels. But I told you guys I was going to do show you how to make the toppers for these without having a lathe. So this is the start to one of those. We were looking for wood candlesticks and the words out on our honey hole. There I were know. no candlesticks. There was no wood candlesticks and there were lots of people at our thrift store with carts full of stuff I wanted to buy. I was like, <laughs> do you ever like walk past the cart at the thrift store and you start to get sad? You're like, oh, I would have oh, oh, decided that. Like three minutes. I know, there's good <laughs> stuff. You guys, we would have had way more awesome stuff, but people have found out. Anyways, 
So it's, it's, all right. it's our own that. fault. It just means we got to up our game and be more creative with new stuff. It's cool. We love doing that anyway. So I'm going to use parts of this to make the topper. I got to find one more candlestick and we'll, we'll see about making... Look at that. Look, that look looks at that. good He's right there. He's going to put like, like a little lip in there so that way it sits down. Yeah. So, We're getting there. So when I find all the pieces, I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> Carson Nelly says a whacking stick. <laughs> Do they do that in Australia? Do they whack their kids with sticks? It's not it's not PC here. I doubt she whacks her kids with sticks. It's like it's like 1920s. If you and if you free. give Jack like the least bit of evil eye, it's like you break his heart. That's oh, all you gotta do with that kid. Alright, uh Teresa says, is your shop going online for merchandise or is shipping not worth it? Um, we ship stuff every week. It's a little bit spendy, but people want what we got and I'll ship it. I would say we probably ship out eight to 12 items a week from the shop. A little bit more recently. Well, that was easy enough. This glue just came right on up. Nice. I think we'll spray these. I so think these already have the right size hole for tapers in the bottom. Yeah, somebody's like, let's just put some rusty blue orbs on top. They were trying to up their uh, modern decor game, I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. But now they're amazing candlesticks. And look at this. Look at the top on that. Well, let me get it over here. Heidi says, I'm in a good mood. I must be feeling better. I'm actually fighting back the hunger grumpies because I really should have fed myself. <laughs> No, we actually had a really good day thrifting, so I'm always excited when I find good stuff. Yeah. We're going to probably have a video in the next week where we clean out the this back room here, and then we're going to have like a mass spraying where we like spray a bunch of stuff in the spray booth. Cause we have it usually a, happens in the spring. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff, and we've been pretty busy, especially since we got all those wholesale items in, so I need to get product finished. And springtime is always busy in the shop. People start getting their tax returns back. And they come to shop, so I want to be prepared. All right, we got two more things here. I got this big old bucket. It was three dollars, which I feel like is a pretty darn good price. Um, I don't know where it originally came from. We're gonna milk paint this, and then um, this basket was ten dollars. And I think somebody painted it black, and the paint's starting to chip off just the way I like it. And I'm not gonna do anything. This basket could go in the shop for like twenty-two, so not a huge markup on that, but. I love baskets. They sell really well. It's probably originally a laundry basket and had like a in long, like a cloth insert yeah. that put in there. People love them though, so I always keep lots of baskets. Don't mind me. <coughs> I'm just clearing the space so I can do some crafting. Have I ever done a video on shipping, like making crates or how to calculate costs? No, because that would be boring as sin. It really would be. And it's so fine. the way we calculate cost is people send us our their address, we weigh and measure the item and get the box size, and then we tell them how much it costs us to ship it, and we charge them for that. <laughs> Sometimes I just estimate. I used to do all the shipping before Ivy came on, so I kind of know what things are going to go for, so I'm really good about that. And sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. But I always make sure that I'm, like, pretty well close. So that would be like a really boring video. In our business coaching group, we cover things like that because they they are really interested in that and they pay extra money every month for the insider details, but like as far as making a whole video on shipping, the general public really just doesn't. <laughs> They're not going to watch that. I would watch it. All right. So so rule of thumb, if Jamie wouldn't watch it or if she feels like skipping through the video, it doesn't make the cut. <laughs> I'm always thinking about the end user. I want them to be excited. Okay, so Jamie's gonna paint this. We've got some Sweet Pickens milk paint in pantry door mixed up. Jen, Jen says, she's in our coaching group. She said, we play for boring as sin. Yep. <laughs> we try to make the units exciting in business coaching, but sometimes that stuff is just nitty gritty. This next week we're gonna be talking about Shipping and what was the other thing? I inventory and oh, inventory and shipping. It's like the it's, the what the evils of the job that we do. Like you gotta keep inventory, you gotta keep shipping. But we keep getting questions on that, so we're gonna be covering that in business coaching, and we'll try to make it exciting. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. 
Jen says she loves it all. Well, that's good. We've yeah. had a lot of fun in our business coaching. A lot of time. Well, right now we've got a challenge going on that's working out great. How's your Instagram challenge going? It's going good. Did I you guys have... know that Zeb has an Instagram called? Hey, no, no, that's going to be cheating. Why is that cheating? Because then people will go find it and then I'll be ahead. Hey, you use every advantage that lesson number one in business coaching. I was just going to try to do it organically, but all right. Zeb has an Instagram <laughs> called Ray Wire, R-A-Y-W-I-R-E. <laughs> can't even spell anyways he shares lots of behind the scenes pictures and stories and stuff in there so make sure you follow him on instagram so this is too shiny for traditional chalk i think this was meant to be a chalkboard and we were going to try to do something but oh you gotta you gotta scrub hard okay so it does work all right plan b anna says do you temper the video i think it was a saturday when you painted a bench with back and grain house drive i watched I wanted to watch it again. I have benches. Do we temper them? Are they only temporary? No. All the all of our videos are um, up on the channel. And if it's a channel member video, you just have to go back through community and find it. We should make. I think we have a. Do we have a playlist for channel members? Nah, I started it and it hasn't been kept up. We'll get on that. I'm gonna season this and see if this helps. I don't think Jen says, I just did my Insta post. I lit a fire under here. Good job. Nice. I actually don't normally post on Instagram on the weekends. I didn't do <laughs> I didn't do one today. I'm gonna start back up Monday. How big are the dough bowls we have in the store? Like this big? They're about 40 inches or so. And then we 36 have some to 40. Are, They're varied in size. Yeah, I well the big ones are like 36 to 40, and then the medium size, if we have any left, I think we have one left is 26 inches because I've measured it for something and then we have one that's like 20 so we have three different sizes. So I've done this with chalk before but over paint not over this is like a factory shiny chalkboard. So you seasoned it. So I'm hoping seasoning it helps. Where'd my little piece of chalk go? There it is. When did you start your website? Oh like a long time ago before Zeb even quit his job maybe like Five or six years Five ago? Five years ago. Oh, that's working when better. When I sold, started selling my first paintbrush. So, did you give me a paintbrush for this? Yeah, I have a paintbrush right here. Is it Raywire or... It's Raywire, um, Chris. It's all one word. She said you can't find his Instagram. It's because it's a little baby It's, uh, it's Raywire underscore builds. Is, is what it? it actually is, yeah. Raywire was taken. Oh, it's Raywire underscore builds. That's why you can't find it. Sorry. I was, I was holding back secretly not telling people, but since you've got people hunting for it. Did you mix the, there's like chunks in this. I mixed that up super good. All right, well, I'm going to. Because the Emergent Blender is I'm the stirring house. my little witch's brew here. Just kidding. I'm, this is Pantry Door by Sweet Pickens, and it has extra bond in it, and I'm going to paint this. Is okay. that working? This is not going to work with this chalk that we have on this. But All right, so. I'm going to do, I'm going to just stencil it with paint. Okay. It's cool. I mean, nobody wants to redo it anyways. All right, the white swan. <laughs> Chris said, because Ray Wires had a guy's face and it wasn't Zeb's. I don't think Zeb has his face on his. I'm, I'm breaking the rule of Instagram right now. I haven't taken Yeah, Zeb needs to take a picture of himself and that should be, that's like rule number like one is your profile picture should be an actual picture of you. All right, so I'm gonna paint this. This is pantry door. You can use milk. You can use DIY paint to paint metal too. If you're using milk paint, make sure you put bond in it. Otherwise, it'll all chippy off. I'm just gonna paint this up. Okay, so I've got looking better. I've got DIY and white swan here. Try not to get milk. milk paint. Doesn't come off your clothes the way DIY paint does. This is gonna be tricky. To get this on here though because this is recessed down in and the stencil is bigger than it i have every faith that you can do that zeb's using a stencil to try to motivate me i've got to finish designing my new stencils being sick has really like put me all, all the other extraneous things that we were going to do in our day with our spare minutes and, and seconds <laughs> yeah they don't happen when i don't feel good all right so if you haven't heard i'm sure you do know but you can go to jamierayvintage.com and you can pick up the milk paint and pantry door for your projects and you can get the stencils and the stencil brushes now 
The cool thing about our stencils is we have retailers all over the US, Canada, Australia, and Germany that carry our stencils. So if you go to jrvwholesale.com, you can find our retailer map and find a retailer next to you. And then also, if you're interested in being a retailer for our stencils, that's where you would go for that too. So, I like milk paint because it's kind of a soft, chippy look. There's a new product, I can't tell you what it is, but I just applied to be a retailer. And I think it's gonna help me with my French country chippy texture situation. Uh, I'm yes. sure people can guess what it is. If you're into painting, you probably know. I follow a uh, painter, it's Jolie Thomas Home. I don't know what country she's from, but she doesn't speak English. But she does the most amazing paint finishes, and I was watching her, and I was like, oh, ooh, I need that. So I sent in my application. Maybe they won't want me, but hopefully it is. It's an additive you put in the paint to build texture. All right, Eve found Ray Wire, right. Our House Forms. Um, Sue said, please forgive me, I missed where to buy the stencils. You can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com or you can go to jrvwholesale.com um, and look for a retailer near you. I believe that Ivy is on, so Ivy, if you would, can you drop a link to our website in comments? And if you're watching this when we're not live anymore, Zeb always has the links in the description. Yeah, and the wholesale link for to find the wholesale map is in the description of like every video since like September when we started wholesaling. So. Alicia wants to know if I have a silhouette. I we have had one. one and we gave it to our sister-in-law Mariah. Because we weren't using it. Designing stencils and then weeding them and then all the all the steps involved just really made it prohibitive for me. I'm an easy person. I just want the stencil to already be made and I want to use it over and over again. So I got rid of my silhouette. If you go way back, I have some videos where I used to use my silhouette. We but actually sold a design on the website when it was first new. You sold the what? The the supermarket sign. Oh yeah, we sold vinyl. Oh, we only sold a few of those. That was a pain in the butt to cut out that supermarket vinyl. I've, there's been a few things that we've sold on the website we no longer sell because we don't want to. Alright. Up to the tricky part where it's like up on the edge here. I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm doing here. Well, and the trick with stenciling, because we haven't stenciled in a while, is to really offload your brush and having a good stiff stencil brush makes it easy. Alright, let's see. Oh, Anna says, what was the video you watched? Um, Jolie Thomas, J-O-L-Y, I think, Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S. You got a spelling this time of night, it's not my friend. She's from somewhere in Europe or I don't know. She was live and I was watching her and she doesn't, she wasn't speaking English and my kids are like, why are you watching her? You have no idea what she's saying. I'm like, I know enough about paint that if I just watch her do it, then I can learn what she's doing. I'll, I'll have to know what she's actually saying. Paint's a universal language. All right. Um, Heidi's number 530 on your Instagram. Sweet. Alicia says she hates weeding too, but she uses it for so many things. Yeah, no, if you can figure it out, you can use it for a lot of things. But I don't like weeding and I don't like downloading crap and designing it. So. Okay, so I got a little fuzzy on the sides, but I think that's where I'm gonna call that design. I might come in with a small brush and try to get this. This is the wildflower stencil. And that it is used for doing all kinds of things, but... I need to do got... more florals like that, because this is probably one of our number one stencils, that one right there. Yeah, this one does well. If we have it on our checkout desk. I used it on the border in our um, stencil, underneath our stencil display. So black and white is still some of my favorite stencil designs. I know a lot of people do multiple colors and things like that. But I just love a good classic black back backdrop with a white stencil. So one of the cool things about the stencils is we have the small little, little letter packages that you can write words on here. You could do whatever you wanted, like make a saying. And if you don't seal this, since this was like a factory kind of almost like an enamel 
paint that's on here that's the black color. If you have something like that that's wipeable, if you don't seal this, you could probably come back in, in a month and still be able to wipe that off. I don't know about that, but you could use the erasable chalk from oh, IOD. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's yeah, been a long time so since we've if used you use too. the erasable chalk that IOD has, it's another product we carry, um, you can use that on stamps. And if you use it on a um, factory made chalkboard, it, they wipe right off and you can change it all up. Uh, there was something funny that I, oh, Jen says, I love that stencil brush so much, game changer, and I'm not being paid to say this either. Good job, Jen. It, I got paint on my sweater. Every time. It is a game changer. The stencil brush makes all the difference. We have people that use the stencils and they're like, hey, I'm having this bleed through, and we make them show us their brush, and we're like, that is too much. Like, that's Thanks that's the to problem. less, we learned that less is more. Les is watching this, so I can say that. All right. Um, Delightful Deb says, Jamie, can you stencil over gel stain and then use top coat sealer over that? Thanks. Love you guys. Yep. You can stencil over gel stain. Just make sure it's dry all the way. Would you grab, want to grab that frame and we'll paint that up real quick? We, we got a bunch of milk paint left over. Yeah. We have, we have a bunch of time left over, too. We got to the thrift Oh, it's 907. We got to the thrift hall real fast. Oh. Here, I'll, I'll peel this off. Like, you know what? If we paint it green, though, I'm not putting a horse in it. Um, I have some white swan dabbed right there. Maybe we should paint it. No, we, can, we need to use the milk paint. The only thing with milk paint is once it's mixed I up. I think just painted it. green, the frame will sell by itself. Yeah. It won't need so. a picture in there. It won't need a horse, a horse, of course. Nope. All right. Uh, Jolie paint. Nope, Cassandra. It's not Jolie paint. That's not, that's not the gal. It's I'll find it and Jolie, I'll link it in the video afterwards. Jolie Thomas. Jolie Paint is American. Jolie Thomas. Um, she's from somewhere in Europe. Okay, now, that's, that's now ready. Now I gotta look it up. Now it's that's, ready. That's ready for paint for you. Oh, did you want me to paint that? No, but I gotta look this up now. That's fine. All right, hold on. Jolie. Let's see. Here I just, it is Jolie Thomas Home. She's an IOD retailer. Here. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you close. Can you guys read that? J-O-L-Y Thomas Home. Anyway, she does the most amazing paint finishes. I'm pretty sure that I need to go wherever it is she is in Europe. I think maybe Poland for a paint class. That's a tax write-off, right? If I go there to learn to paint from her. Sure. Deal. All right, I'll get this painted. This will go on. This will paint pretty quick. I don't think it's going to need a lot of coats. We'll paint it down so they can see what we're doing. All right. What are you? What are you doing? It's time, and that's the rules. You have to. It's time. You have it's to. Time for what? You have to snap the glove on. You know where I learned that? I was a kid watching Rescuers Down Under and the rat doing surgery on the albatross. You know? Oh yeah. He puts his gloves on. He's like. And so every time I put, like these. Uh, Rubber gloves. Yeah, I can't remember the name of them. They. Latex gloves. Nitrile or whatever, something like that. <laughs> What are you the doing? The latex though? gloves. I'm going in. To what? This this trash can situation is getting <laughs> clean. You're gloved up for the trash can. I couldn't figure out. I was like, why are you putting gloves on? We hardly wear gloves for anything. Usually when I do resin stuff. Uh, sometimes you wear gloves when you do resin. You should wear them all the time. Depends on how much I'm doing. If it's going to be like a now, quick pour, yeah, I just, you know. Hold on, now I gotta get back to the YouTube video. I got distracted by. Alright, where are we at? <laughs> it's All gonna right. be look, this these disinfecting wipes kill 99.9% of viruses and bacteria, leaving a crisp lemon scent. It's delightful. We should put a bet on what time each week you get paint on your sweater. That's not funny. <laughs> I actually think that there's already paint on this sweater. Yeah. It's from a different time. No, that's that's actually like wood glue. Watch where you're run, running that brush, though. You're going to get paint on me. It's, it's there's wood glue on it already. This shirt is newish. I know, because Zeb was wearing I was like, sweetie, I don't want to go out with you if you don't get some newer clothes. He I had paint on everything. <laughs> paint, dirt, glue. And it's like, it's okay to buy new things every now and then. I'm at that point in my life where she's like, let's go to dinner, and I don't bother changing. I'm like in my paint clothes after dinner. <laughs> yeah. 
And I'm not saying you gotta be fancy, but a new shirt from the outlet mall. You know, since all I wear is t-shirts, I was okay. I was like, okay, I can spring for a new t-shirt. Oh, she's in Poland. Is it a chamber pot? That's funny, not too shabby, Patty. What is the next farmhouse video? I don't know. Next week, maybe, week maybe, after. maybe next week, because I got to get over there and work on it, and it seems like I can only work on it if I'm doing a video on it. Yeah, we'll see. Next week is the state wrestling um, for my yeah, oldest next boy. It's gonna be busy. We have two days of that, and my daughter's chair banquet, so it's gonna be a little bit busy. Oh, but I know most of you guys are super excited. We're going to be doing a Fat Fit Fun unboxing tomorrow. Hey. You know what? They sent me awesome stuff. They paid me money. I and some people like the videos. But I thought it'd be fun for the unboxing, Zeb, if um, you try out the products with me. Okay. Some of them are like facial products to help with wrinkles. I need that. There's, a, getting, deep, there's a deep some, conditioner for your arm. really gym. awesome wrinkle lines around my eyes. It's yeah. Smiling. It's so, smile line. for our FabFit Fun box, unboxing, Zeb is going to try out all the products that I got sent. To make for an and we'll and put, don't we, worry guys it's an extra video in the week i know but can we try the mascara on you because i have fake lashes so i don't need mascara. i have amazing eyelashes i'm warning you now like if i put people, mascara on those it's gonna be crazy well those are my eyebrows between the two they grow real good your eyebrows grow especially good jack always tells me he comes close to me he goes mom look at my eyelashes they're so long <laughs> yes jack yes they are Today he was having fun watching funny cat videos with me. All our kids have good eyelashes. I know. Our boys are longer than our girls, though. Try to be real. <laughs> all right. I think I got this all painted. Okay. Are we going to go... Are we going pantry door on this, too? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm doing it. Wax question. I have a cedar chest. I painted black. I want a white wax details. Top coat first, then wax. Um, if you don't want the white wax to be super heavy, I'd put a couple coats of clear wax and then white wax. Um, Jamie, what's next for the Ray fa family after the house is done and the shops and Oh, we have team? so many things we've been waiting to get, uh, get to. Uh, like, I wanted, I wanted to be like, I wanted to create a bunch of stuff for my CNC and, and get a small warehouse and wholesale that. You know, that's, um, that's like on the horizon. Let's smell the can. Come on, come on, do it. Smell the can. Lemons! Lemons. Smells like lemon. All right. Um, D says, has anybody asked your question? I don't know. You're going to have to ask it again. She said, maybe I will email in later with pictures. If it's a question about a product that you bought from us, sweet. But if it's like, a question about how to decorate your house. I don't always answer those questions via email because I get like 50 a day and I only have one look. Paint your walls white, buy white couches, and have one thing painted in pantry door or Sweetie Jane. Done. That is how I decorate pretty much everything in my life. If you don't like Sweetie Jane, throw some apothecary. Rug. Blue rug, you know. Yeah, or what should I paint this? uh white black apothecary possibly light pink those are probably going to be my answers is caitlin on caitlin is not on she has is not feeling good all right let's see please put the link sherry i am i don't have the link because i'm here so you'll have to wait till later it goes in after the video uploads since we film these live these hour-long videos are live it we can't we can't do it till it's done lemonade out of lemons and then august says oh no he smelled it <laughs> you know i have done some crazy stuff on dares i was gonna paint life. that um in prairie gray oh that's right i well i asked you you're reading comments i got you at a vulnerable moment it's fine everything's going pantry door everything's pantry door tonight it's all going green all right you know it'll look like happen. christmas with the red coming through <laughs> julie says would you guys ever want to renovate houses, Zeb the Builder and Jamie the Designer? You know, I've had a lot, a lot of fun building this house and, and going through the process, but it takes quite a bit of capital to just jump in and do that. I mean, we, we saved up quite a bit of money for this house, and we're, we're currently not even halfway done, and we're already like, hmm, maybe we need to go get a construction loan. 
because we don't want to do this anymore. I don't think people could pay me enough. It's kind of like when people ask me if I'll reupholster their couches. Have I done the couches? Yes. Will I do them for other people? Probably. I would, if we ever flipped homes or renovated them, I would do it on a much smaller scale. Like we're adding an addition that's a two thirds the size of the existing house. Well, we haven't finished it yet, but we're getting started. And the old house, we completely ripped out every wall in the upstairs and covered up a, a staircase and you know just the list is long like I, I don't know that i would go that extreme with a flip home but we're living in this one so it'll be it'll be fun it's going to be super custom and awesome all right let's see vanessa says i have that trash can thanks for the idea of painting it I'm not going to sell it as a trash can. I feel like it's an oversized urn. It's going to get a bunch of flowers and stuff loaded up in it or something. Something poking out the top. Uh, Laura says, I built my home, took three years from start to finish, and only once. Nice. I don't We're... Think, I'm hoping it doesn't take three years. <laughs> So right now the projection is sometime in April. They still, so we got the foundation walls are poured. The concrete is looking great, um, but they still have to do some backfill. I've got to run a French drain around that before we can do the backfill. So many things. There's concrete that has to be poured on the slab for the garage once we get it backfilled. So there's just like a long list of Les, things that are not super exciting. Les says you need to throw out that brush. We're not going to throw out that brush. Oh, he cleaned this, this before we painted it. It's been cleaned. Oh, throw the, out the brush out because it was... It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. I'm going to take that 0.01% that, uh, risk. Kitchen utensil holder. Alicia, I think that might be pushing it since it used to be a bathroom trash can. So, <laughs> I don't know. Once we seal it and, and it it's going to be awesome. Fine. You got the thing about milk paint. And who is knows thinner, if it was, that was actually really shiny. that's dripping. Yeah, and who knows if it was actually even used in a bathroom. Do you want to get a heat gun? Yeah. Are we going to just stress when we paint the floors? Nope, because they will get distressed all on their own. Yeah. Because we have five kids and they're distressing. <laughs> John says I'm beginning to wonder what some people put in their bathroom trash cans. All right, uh, let's see. Stacy says this would look good with paper white bulbs in it. It would, I actually have oh, some. Yeah. Some that are growing like crazy. But I just like keep crazy. forgetting to get dirt. I do have an ironstone soup terrine, and I put some paper whites in it, and they're growing really, really well. So I'm hoping that they flower sometime soon. I think the outlet's over there, sweetie. It's all the way pushed over this way. So Laura says it will be worth it no matter how long it takes. You know, honestly, like Zeb and I are super patient for the most part. It's everybody else that's like, hey, when are you going to move into that house? We live in a perfectly fine, nice house now that I'm happy to be in. So as long as it takes, it takes. Yeah, that house that we did all of those videos on and all that work. With Thank weirdos. you, Ivy. I don't know what the heck all the weirdos are coming out tonight. Poor Ivy. Caitlin's not on here. Carolyn just got on seeing green. She loves it. Pantry door and sweet yeah. pickings. All right. I was gonna do this when it was almost dead. Is that one almost dead? Yeah. I need something else to paint. Should it's we paint these? Paint. Well, we have a lot of paint. I mixed up like well, well, almost a pint of paint. Might as well paint it. Should we paint these? Well, they'll look good in pantry door. I think so. Everything's going green. Did you sell other people's products in your space when you were renting your space? No. It was just me and the shop owner. She didn't um, really do booth rental before. So by products, we did have our paints and things in here, but everything else was, was like thrifted and found. We've only had other stuff in here that hasn't been thrifted or found like for a week. Booth rental is necessarily a bad thing, but we don't have a ton of space here. And I tend to pretty much fill up the entire space. So I don't 
have room for them. We get asked and approached all the time. The other thing too is if you have booth rental, you don't have like control over what other people put in your shop. And I'm kind of particular about that. Can you have my brush? It worked out when Molly and I were here because Molly and I had a similar style, but I actually really love that I get to make all the design choices. <laughs> There's a super moon tonight. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. All right. Les says that she watches my face when I read the comments to see the reaction of the messages. Seb and I were just talking about that tonight, that I make funny faces, but the reality is I actually kind of control my face because I... She's holding a lot back. Guys. I'm holding a lot back. I, my face <laughs> tells you exactly what I'm thinking. I'm Jamie's sometimes. really a comedian, one of those brutally honest ones. Stop it. <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> Seb and I spent a lot of time together. Let's just put it that way. We have a good time. I think that we think that we're funnier than we actually are. I think that is true for most people. So, <laughs> well, I just think us together, the kids will like come in and be like, what's so funny? And then we'll tell them and they're like, that's not funny. And we're like dying, laughing, crying. Like, well, we thought it was funny. I guess it doesn't really matter. Lots know? of lots and lots. We got 20 years of inside joke practice. Oh gosh, now I got paint on my jeans. This, this paintbrush is flicking painting. <laughs> I need a smaller brush. American Sweetheart says, take your time on your house, do everything right exactly how you want it. We have, you know, the city has been so good to work They're with. They're awesome. We had the inspector out there the other day, and there was a little snafu with the footings and the foundation lining up. Um, and we were ready to pour because the contractor had ordered the concrete to be there 10 minutes after the inspector was, <laughs> hoping everything would be good, and it wasn't. But we got the, I was able to get a hold of my engineer and the inspector was like, okay, send over some plans. I'm not signing anything off, but I'm going to let these guys go ahead and pour. And then once we get the changes done that you that, engineer, then, then I'll come back and sign off. And so the changes are being done by the contractor and we were able to pour. We had three trucks ordered up. Um, which I actually didn't know about until I got there and was like, oh, hey, this is all going down right now. Because we out the foundation. Can you pass me the heating? Oh, yeah. Um, so but somebody the asked a question. They said, how do you sell if you don't have a retail space? We sold out of our living room for years. Yeah. Zeb had quit his job and we were selling out of our living we, room and, and online, just Facebook Marketplace. We only rented a space, but it's been three it's years been, in, in June. In May, it'll be three years. May. That's Three years is the how long we had a space, and we've we've only owned this shop since last September, so. They said you missed a whole side. I didn't miss a whole side. They're just messing with me. Oh, up on the top of the ring. Good call, guys. Good call. I'd have got it on the second coat. Eventually, does it take longer to sell colored pieces than white? Not really. It, it depends, depends on, on the what piece. It looks like. Some pieces are really cool in different colors and they sell really quick and some things uh, take, a, take a little longer. Sometimes white takes longer to sell because it's kind of, it's not like super interesting. Well, and boho is in right now. It's a thing. So like if you do a blend It's not in finish, my store, but it's in. People, people really like it. You got to find the right person, but if you do a good job on like a boho finish piece, oh and we're... I feel like boho lends itself to like coastal towns and areas, warmer climates, and we are not that. <laughs> There's drips on the big urn. Oh, that's, that's all right. right. It's seriously like first coat, we don't sweat that. Because the milk paint is thin, once you do a few coats and then you sand it smooth, you won't be able to tell. Milk paint is really forgiving. You can't always guarantee how it's going to chip. But it's really forgiving. I got a lot of extra bond in this because I knew we were going to be painting shiny stuff. Ah. So we'll see how much chipping oh gosh, we actually there's get. Oh gosh, more paint on my pants. It's alright. It's just little flecks. It's going to oh, be speckled. I think these pants. Be speckled. All right, I'm getting my second coat on there. The first coat of milk paint always looks wonky, but that second coat usually gets pretty good coverage. Character drips, yeah, that's what it is, but less. I'll come wipe them off in a sec. It'll be all right. Wipe. All right. 
the drips off of my pants? No, no. I was like, I'm like, I got this, but thanks for offering. <laughs> Have I thought of wearing an apron? <laughs> we have we have like 20 aprons here in the shop. She just doesn't she doesn't like things around her neck, so she doesn't wear them. Well, I have that one that crisscrosses in the back. The gals that work here wear them because they paint for me and it protects their clothes. Um, no, I I haven't thought of wearing an apron. <laughs> They're not flattering on me. Maybe that's what it is. There's a few things. I don't like to wear socks either. Fun fact about me. I don't like aprons and I don't like socks. I only wear socks if my feet are really, really cold. Also, the combination of shoes in the summertime. What do you mean? Like shoes or socks, either oh, one. Oh yeah, I don't like to wear shoes at all. I, I was noticing Alicia has videos and she's not wearing any shoes. I was like, oh, we can be friends because she likes to work without shoes on. All right. All right, let's see. Can you use a stained piece? Can you use a stained piece of furniture to paint over and distress for stain to peel through? So, yeah. Yeah, if you've got um, stain underneath, you can paint it and then wet distress it and that stain will come right through. It's one of my favorite things to do. I like it when things are stained dark when I get to it. Stacy says, I can't wear socks. Right? It's like foot claustrophobia. The struggle is real. I don't wear them with <laughs> even my snow boots. Seb, think, Seb always wears socks. He has the softest feet. All right, can I have that heat can back? True story. And I only wear flip-flops if I'm at the pool. Bria says Alicia goes out in the snow and bare feet. I don't do that, but my daughter Odelia was done. Oh, she takes the trash out and she'll just be like, I got no shoes on, it's all right, there's a foot of snow out here, whatever. <laughs> Chris doesn't like it. Her feet get claustrophobic, see? All right, she says, at A Action 411 says, God stands to order from us, thank you. I'm so not sure about the coldness of the window. Should I wait for the sun to shine? I'm heating a space. So are, is it, you're worried that the window is too cold to stencil? I would probably do it inside the house. Yeah. Because cold does make a difference. Get yourself a little drop cloth, throw that on the kitchen island. It'll be all right, or the table. Whatever you've got, find a little space. We painted whole. I can't drink milk. Right can I still it. use this? Um, oh. If you have a milk allergy, you might want to put gloves on. It we is, do also carry um, DIY paint, and that doesn't have milk products in it. So you might try that. It depends on how severe your milk allergy, because there is actually some milk in this. Can I have the heat gun? Yep. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Heidi also has claustrophobic feet. Just don't heat gun your, your phone screen. All right, I won't do that. I'm just going to dry this and then maybe put some white wax on it. Oh, it's 929. Maybe to an hour. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, Vintage Vibe says she loves the big trough. It's lush. Yeah, I think for $3 that this turned out pretty awesome. I'm planning on giving it a wet distress and then doing white and clear wax. Maybe putting like a big IOD transfer on it. We have some of the labeled transfers. Those would be cool. Or maybe a stencil. I don't know. Crescent Moon says, I'd rather wear socks than have cold feet. That is true. <laughs> Terry says she hates shoes. She calls them feet coffins. <laughs> Someone answer Cassie. Okay. I'm getting to it, Renee. What did she ask? When did we start being a retailer for paint products? And when would it be a good idea to do it while renting or do a website or sell it? That's a lot of questions. Um, I started selling paint when I sold from home and I slowly started adding brands. And a couple months after I started renting a space is when I sold paint, but I don't think, I don't think there's any wrong or right way, so. Whatever fits for you and your budget and your yeah. preferred method of selling items i just everything i've ever done in business has always been because it felt like the time was right should have left those gloves on i got milk paint all over me any new stencil releases yes the, the, stencil, the new stencil releases are coming they're they're in the works so it'll soon. happen in february i just got to finish them and we'll for sure announce them and, and let you guys know when that's coming and 
sneak peeks and all that. You'll know when we know. All right. I don't think people want to just watch me I dry think, this. I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to get dry enough to do some white wax. No, like I don't think so either. So I'm going to let this sit here. But anyways, thanks for joining us tonight for our thrift haul and listening to our random rambling about all kinds of interesting stuff. Make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintage.com. We used Pantry Door with Extra Bond, the Wildflower Stencil, and White Swan, and the number 20 number Stencil 20 Brush. Number 20 Stencil Brush. I think that's everything. And some paint pixie brushes. And some paint pixie. And a DIY brush. All right. Thanks, guys. Love you. Have a great Saturday night, and we will see you next week. All right, guys. Happy chunking. We'll catch you Monday.